Hi there guys, in this video I am going to show you the basic tips and tricks of Mozilla Firefox. So guys, this is the Mozilla Firefox and as you can see these are the things called as tabs and in each tab you can open a different web page and you can do something called as pinning, simply right click on a tab and you have this option that says pin tab. So whenever you pin a tab it will always put in the first and whenever you close your browser and open it once again, the pin tabs will be opened once again. So let me just open multiple tabs and let me pin a few. So there you go. So to unpin it, you can again do a simple right click and say unpin the tab and it will be unpinned. So these are the tabs and you have something called as a bookmark toolbar. Simply right click on the toolbar and you have this option that says bookmark toolbar. When you select that, you'll be able to see bookmarks on your toolbar. So to hide it again, you can do the same thing by unchecking this box. Next, this is called as a URL bar or address bar where you enter the website address or your normal search query. Additionally, you have this separate search box where you can choose a default search engine. Next on the right, we have all these icons which are shortcuts or either add-ons. So coming to the part of add-ons, add-ons like your normal applications on your Windows PC or a Mac. So they provide you some specific functionality or else they will provide you additional features. So for example, this is a session buddy add-on which helps me track my sessions. For example, if I simply close the browser when I was having like 10 or 15 tabs open, I'll be able to go back to that particular session using this particular add-on. These are some shortcuts. And this over here is push bullet which helps me mirror notifications from my phone to the browser. Next we have some ad blocker and greasy monkey and the last pass. So these are all called add-ons and to install or remove them simply go to menu and you have this option that says add-ons. Now as you can see we are in the extensions tab. These are the list of add-ons that are currently installed on this Firefox browser. So if you want to install any new add-ons simply go to this section that says get add-ons over here you can look up the most featured add-ons or top rated add-ons or else you can directly go to the firefox website just go to add-ons dot mozilla dot org so from here you will be able to install any add-on that you want if you don't know which add-on to install a better place would be to start with featured extensions. So let me just install this YouTube Anywhere player. Just hover on it and you'll see this green button and if you click on it, it will be installed. Or else you can simply press on the add-on and it will take you to the page where you get more information about the add-on. Now let me press this button. Now the browser will try to download the add-on and once it is downloaded, it will ask you to install it. Just press install and it will be installed. Most of the times, to activate these add-ons, you might have to restart your browser. So for that, let's go to add-ons once again. Go to extensions. And as you can see, the newly installed add-on that is YouTube Anywhere is here. And we don't have any option that says restart. So just in case, try to restart your browser. If it asks you to restart, some extensions require that you restart your browser. And if it is necessary, you'll get a message saying restart it now. So just restart your browser to start using the extension or add-on. Next cool thing in Firefox is you have something called as a developer mode. If you press F12, you'll get this developer console where you can tweak different aspects of this web page. For example, if you press this button, you'll be able to select any part of this web page and see the underlying HTML code and CSS code. You can even edit this code and make it look different, but that's only limited to you nothing happens in the backend. So you have ton of options over here in the developer mode and you can tweak the web page or check out any other background details using this. Next we have something called as sync which allows you to sync your data from this Firefox browser to any other Firefox browser that you have installed on any of your other computers. It even syncs your data like passwords, bookmarks which your Firefox browser installed on your Android device. To sync your Firefox data, simply press on this button and it will take you to this page. Press get started and if you don't have an account, create one and if you already have an account, simply press sign in and enter your details to start syncing your data. So as you can see, this particular feature syncs the tabs, bookmarks, passwords, history, add-ons and preferences and you can give your own dedicated name to this browser installed on this PC. Now let's go to the settings of this browser. 
just press this menu button and select options well in the general tab you get these options where you can choose the default home page or if you want to open any set of pages when the browser first starts and if you want to change your default location where the files are downloaded if you go to security you will be able to see an option that says save passwords so if you have saved any passwords on your browser you'll be able to see that using this option so these are all the list of sites and these are the usernames and as of now the passwords are hidden but when i press this show passwords button the passwords will be revealed if you go to advanced and update section you'll be able to enable or disable the auto updates on firefox if you go to search you'll be able to change the default search engine of your browser so by default these are the things that are installed in my browser and if you don't have any of these or if you are looking for something else you can add new search engines by pressing this button it will simply take you to the add-ons page of the mozilla firefox and from here you can download whatever you want if you look at here for a minute you will see that this particular add-on is colored differently whereas this is in green so it means it simply means that this particular add-on is compatible with my version of firefox and if you are having the latest version of firefox some add-ons might not work so try to stick with the stable latest version of Firefox. Don't go to the betas and the 90s. And finally, we have something called as an incognito or private mode. So just press menu and you have this option that is new private window. So whatever you do over here will not be saved. That is no matter which website you visit, all that information will not be saved by the Firefox browser. Let's say you have visited your friend's house and you want to access your Gmail or Facebook, then you better try to use it in incognito mode just so that when you close the browser window all your information is gone even if you don't log out so that's one nice feature so that's pretty much it guys these are the basic things that you need to know while using the firefox browser if you are interested i can make another advanced tips and tricks video for the firefox do let me know and comment below if you have any doubts and give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this